Hey guys, this is Lance, and today I brought in my buddy Rufus, or Grant Gardis, as the professionals know him, I guess. Uh, and we're going to go through a couple steps that we might take to teach the Romanian deadlift, and some pitfalls you might encounter, and how we might address those. Okay, so here we are, and I have my lovely assistant, the Queen of Romania, Christiana, and otherwise known as a doc, because I can't ever forget how to pronounce her name. And uh, um, so we're going we're gonna to work on a little bit of how we teach the RDL. Now, she's pretty unfamiliar with the RDL, so this is perfect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have her stand with her feet about uh, hip width apart or about vertical jump width apart if she's going to do a vertical jump. And then all I want her to do is just unlock her knees. So make them soft like this. Okay, and so from here, what you're going to do, Christiana, is put your hands right here in this crease right there, and all I need you to do is push that back. Okay, just like that, okay? Now, you notice how her toes are coming off the ground? Okay, we want, we want her to maintain an even balance on the ground. So you want the toes to be spread, and, and you don't want the toes to come up, but you don't want them gripping the ground either. Okay, so just like this, and that's a pretty good position. So what we're gonna do, I want her to go down just a little bit more, keeping the shins vertical and an even balance on the foot, and we'll go down just a little bit, just like that. Now, notice how she's bending her knees right here. That's not what we want, okay? And that's where most people will make a mistake is they will go down, and as they go down, they wanna bend their knees like this, okay? The, you wanna keep the hip and knee angle the same. So as we go down, okay, let's try to go down again. That's it. There you go, much better. Feel that back here on your hamstrings? Oh yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? I feel how tight they are. Okay, um, and, that, and that's how we're gonna do it. Now, the other thing that we also coach is that you wanna keep the barbell as close to the body as possible. So, Christiana, what I'm gonna have you do is run your hands right down your thighs till your fingertips get just below your knees. Very good, very good. Yep, just let your arms hang. Yep, just like that, okay? And bring the hips forward when you come up. Just bring them forward, yes. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Just one more time. This time I don't want you to use your back at all. Just let the hips drive your, drive your, drive your upper body. Okay? So we're going to, just like that. Okay? So we want to use the hips to lift the barbell and not necessarily the back in a big arch so that we go into hyperextension. Okay? So that's, that's one problem that you'll see. And I'm gonna, and when Lance comes on, he's gonna show you, talk to you a little bit about some of the things that can happen, why they can't get in that position, and things like that, and maybe give you a couple little tips to uh, uh, correct, to correct some of these movements. But so what we'll do then is we'll actually have her grab the bar. Go ahead and grab the bar. That's it. Very good. Okay. And we do it unloaded first because a lot of times with people, what happens is that. When, they, when you put a bar in their hands or a weight in their hands, it changes the whole movement. So, we'll, like I said, I've never done this with the dock before, and so we're going to see what happens. Okay, so she's going to unlock her knees once again. Notice the head is straight, chin tucked, right like that. She's going to remain in that position, unlock the knees, and just move her hips back. Just come back to me. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good, right about there. I don't need you to go all the way to the ground. Then bring the hips as she comes up. Just roll the hips up. There we go. Okay? Now, a lot of times what will happen is you'll see a big hyperextension or they'll round their back. You don't want that. The other thing is, I know it's, it's a, go ahead and do, a, do one more. The other thing is that you'll notice in some of the Chinese weightlifting videos, they do, they do a form of this, but they really round their back and try to get to the ground. Come on up anytime. There you go. Okay, thank you, put it down. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they will do, it's almost, they, they get here and they start doing it, and then they go down like this, and they go all the way to the floor. Personally, I don't think you need to do that, and I don't know why they do that. Okay, it's not something I would do with my normal population or, or my athletes, okay, because the last thing I want them to do is to get hurt in the weight room when they, when they have such a great chance of getting hurt on the, on the playing field. So that's something I would, I would not advise doing. 
So what you saw with Rufus showing you that RDL, sometimes people will bend over, but they'll bend their knees too much, or they'll try to shift their weight back too much and their toes will come up. So if I can't just cue them out of the position, sometimes I'll say, uh, when, they're, when they're doing their RDL, stay over the bar, but that doesn't always work. So what I might have them do is, instead of grabbing the bar, Christiana, when you do your RDL, I want you to just take a bow and reach your arms forward towards that wall. Really, really long. Really, really long. Okay, now, hold right there. Hold right there. Okay, keep your toes down. Slide your weight forward a little bit. And I'm, I'm pulling on her, just a hair. Okay, now, use your hips to bring yourself back up. There you go. Now, same thing, just like that. Don't fall backwards. Jay will never forgive me. There you go, keep those toes down. Keep those toes down. Just like that. There you go. And then use your hips to stand back up. So we just go through a couple reps. She gets a little bit more used to the pattern and eventually she'll remember it. All right, I'm gonna have Christiana show you something that some people will do incorrectly pretty often. Uh, pick up the bar for me, Christiana. There you go. And then I just want you to show me, you do your RDL, but you're, you lose your back position and you round over. Okay, so you can see just like that, right? So she's not maintaining this uh, quote-unquote neutral spinal position, um, and it just gets a little bit more wear and tear on her. So stand back up for me. That's when I might use that bend over and reach as a, as a cue for her to kind of think through things. I might put a little PVC pipe on her back to be like, I want you to keep contact with this pole as you bend over because then she gets a little bit more of an idea of, okay, I'm rounding, I feel my head is coming off the pole or whatever. Another thing people will do really often when they're doing the Romanian deadlift is when they stand up, instead of maintaining their set position of their back as they come up, they'll try to lead with their shoulders, and you'll see that back curve get a little bit more bowed-like. So, Christiana, can you show me one of those? There you go. So she's got a little bit of extra curve there, and then when you see her come back up, you see how that curve gets steeper. Can you show me just one more? I promise I won't make you do more than that. There you go, and you'll see a little bit more bend in the knees, the toes are coming up, and she's leading with her shoulders. Uh, a lot of people will actually cue, I want you to look up and forward, or I want you to look at the wall, or I want you to keep your chest up. For some people, if they're rounding a lot, I might try that, uh, but for most people I'm going to avoid that cue because I think it feeds this instead of a nice hip drive to stand up. So if I'm trying to fix somebody who's extending their back a lot, I might do this. So it's, first of all, I gotta stack the deck, right? So I gotta set up the right way. So Christiana, give me a nice big exhale and see how much air you can get out. There you go. Now you feel those ribs sink down. I want you to hold that rib position. You can breathe normally, but hold that rib position as you push your butt back and bend over for your RDL. There you go, yeah. So her back position cleans up. She gets a little bit more hip drive. She's still falling back on her toes a little bit, which we know is just a pattern that she's used to. So give me another big exhale. I might cue them every rep initially because they're not used to this position and they need the reminder. And then bend over for me. And I'm gonna put a railroad spike through these toes if you don't keep them down. Okay, slide forward for me. And come back up. That's, that's RDL depth for days. Do one more. Oh yeah, that was a little better. She's bending, wait for the plane. She's bending her knees a little bit more, so let's try this one more time. So just as you bend over, stay over that bar. Pause right there, there you go, come back up. All right, cool. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to go to ifastuniversity.com if you like this and you want some more stuff. Uh, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks.